Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. The last decade has seen tremendous growth in all things SUV, with some brands dropping traditional cars altogether. Already all utility all the time, Jeep too added models, but mostly small and mid-sized designs. Well, now they've gone big family in a big way with the three-row Grand Cherokee L and a full-size Wagoneer family. But it is the truly opulent Grand Wagoneer that aims to change the high-end three-row segment. The 2022 Grand Wagoneer is not just a bigger Jeep, but a much more luxurious one as well. A premium extension of the Jeep brand designed to redefine American premium, according to Stellantis. In fact, they see the entire Wagoneer family as a new Jeep sub-brand. Regardless, first and foremost, Grand Wagoneer remains a Jeep at heart and a truck down below. With three different four-wheel drive systems available and a modified version of the Ram 1500's full steel frame as its foundation. And of course, it looks all square and imposing with a clear favor to the original Wagoneer series, yet assuredly modern with the laser etched treatment of Jeep's iconic seven slot grille. The series includes both the premium Wagoneer and our over the top luxurious Grand Wagoneer tester. The former competes with the Tahoe and Expedition, the latter aimed at Escalade and Navigator. Grand Wagoneers also distinguish themselves with a two-tone black accent roof, unique hood, special LED lighting, fender flares, and power operating running boards. Wheels are either 20 or 22 inches. Full size requires three rows of seats with up to eight passenger capacity, but Jeep not only went big, they went big, big. With class leading passenger volume and third row headroom, and generous legroom for both second and third row occupants. Behind the third row, you'll find 27.4 cubic feet of cargo space, another class best, growing to 70.9 with it folded and maxing out at 94.2. For better or worse, life today is all about screen time. And there's up to 45 inches of it on display in Grand Wagoneer's dash. The center stack gets 10 and 12 inch ones, plus there's an optional one in front of whomever is riding shotgun and a 12 inch one for the virtual gauges. Need to adjust the climate control in back? Yeah, there's a touch screen for that too. A big truck needs big truck power. For Jeep, that still means a V8. Their 392 horsepower 5.7 liter comes standard in the Wagoneer while the Grand Wagoneer gets the 471 horsepower 6.4 liter V8 with 455 pound-feet of torque, both with an eight-speed automatic transmission. Tow rating comes in at a stout 10,000 pounds for the Wagoneer, 150 pounds less for the heavier Grand Wagoneer. Plenty of oomph off the line for such a big, heavy SUV, jumping to 60 in just 5.7 seconds. Shifts into second and third were a little clunky, but they smoothed out as we worked our way down the track. Best quarter mile time, 14.1 at 99 miles per hour. Expectations were low heading to the handling course, but the GW handled itself quite well, feeling way more nimble and lighter than its size would indicate. Very little body roll and even a decent amount of feedback through the steering wheel. Both the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer are available in Series 1, 2, and 3. Grand Wagoneer adding an extra obsidian into the mix. Wagoneer starts at $59,995. The Grand Wagoneer at $88,995. With surging fuel prices and a volatile economy, it's debatable whether this is a great time to be launching a whole new luxury-minded mega utility. But as of now, America's appetite for large SUVs is still ravenous. The 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer may seem like a bold step from Jeep, but really they're just delivering what their customers have been demanding for years. A big utility for their growing families to grow into.